Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm just giving you uh, an update on like my room. I'm going to show you around my room because nothing's changed furniture wise. But um, my desk is a little bit different and I'll show you what's in my drawers because somebody was wanting to see what was in the Ikea drawers for storage wise and I did have the Ikea cutlery trays but I've took them out and I've bought some tubs from being and just because I think um, the storage is much better the cutlery trays were taking up too much space like with the gaps in between so um, it feels like it's been ages since I've uploaded a video we've had repairs in the house to be done the electrician's been in because my landlord's um, changing documentation over so the electrician's been in and We've had to get the floorboards ripped up, carpets pulled up, um, new carpets laid. So we've been the old ones and bought new ones. And now we've got to transfer stuff from where swap rooms with the boys. So we've got to bring everything from our room to the boys' room. The boys' room's got to move everything from theirs to ours. They've got to be decorated. They need new carpets down. So I thought, well, I've got a spare half hour now. I'm going to do a quick video for you. Um, because like I said, I'm going to be super busy, so this will probably be the last video, maybe for a week or two. Um, um, I keep saying um. I'm just trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. If you've seen my Instagram stories, you'll see I've bought a whole load of Premier gel, um, gel polishes, builder in the bottles. I know there's been quite a lot of um speculation going on about them and is it the gel bottle on the nail pages I've done my research there's loads of people that have complained saying it's lifting on your nails and nail beds and all that's coming away but there's loads of other people that swear by how, how brilliant it is I wasn't really going for the builder in the bottle I was mainly going for the gel polish because I only have like Amazon gel polishes and I am qualified in gel polish application, but I mainly do acrylic. I mean, I'm not doing clients at the minute, but I was supposed to be doing one today. She's at the council because her husband's not very well in the other business, so she's going to come next week. Uh, but she's a friend, so I said I didn't mind doing them. But, um, yeah, when people do say to me, Sharon, do you do a gel polish application? I was like, yeah, I didn't like to do it because I don't really like using the Amazon gel polishes on them. So I for nail art and for myself, but I wanted something like a bit better quality to do on clients. If I, if I decided I wanted to do clients again, I wanted something that's really good pigmentation for me, for me nail art and for myself. And I just wanted to pay that a little bit more for a little bit better quality. I was looking at SBD London. Um... And they were sort of like round, round the same price range. But I, I was just swearing more to Premier Gel. And there was a local seller on the next town to me. And she was selling, I think she was selling for 4 50 a bottle. And she offered me them for £4 a bottle. And she had, oh God, how many did she have? I did put a post up, so it'll be on there. And it was the older version bottles. And... Um, it would have came to 80 odd pounds at four pound a bottle and she done me a deal she let me have them for 75 pound and there was builder in a bottle in them and i think there was a couple of base coats so i thought well i might as well do a builder in a bottle i wasn't planning on so i thought well i can't do a builder in a bottle on clients because i'm not a gel nail tech i'm only acrylic and gel polish application so i thought right yeah i'm going to get them so i travel to the next town Bought them, brought them on, and had them some swatches, and I was blown away by how pigmented they were. They went on like butter. They didn't um like shrink in the lamp because I have forty eight watt lamps, and I know you're supposed to use those forty eight watt lamps with that polish, and they were just like a dream. And I thought, Do you know what, I really like these. Um, there's good 
there's good with products and there's bad with products. So obviously not everyone likes certain products. If people have got problems with certain products, other people don't. And I thought, well, I'm going to take that chance. So I bought them. And I only got them on Friday. So it was like a week ago tomorrow because today is Thursday. And there was the, the sale on. I think it was 40% off sale. I'd sold some makeup and I sold some of the cheaper gel polishes I had to just a girl who I know um, locally. And I had all this money from some of the uh, some of the makeup that I'd sold, and I was like, right, I wanna I wanna buy something decent with it. So I went on Premier Gels on Friday night, and I spent I think it was about another seventy six pounds. So I bought those, and they came first thing Saturday morning. Like I couldn't believe how fast they arrived. No, it was it was Friday lunchtime. I ordered them because the sale started at ten o'clock, and I didn't know how fast they were going to sell out. So, like I spent seventy six pound. So there came Saturday morning first thing, and I swatched those. Oh, come here, he's itching. I swatched those, and it was like, oh my god. And I had I still had some cash left from makeup and bits and bobs I'd been selling, and. I placed another order on Saturday for, I think it was another £100. And then I had another, I think I had another £60 left by Saturday. I'm not that right, stuff it, I'm blowing it. So basically I've spent like, I spent well over £300 on Premier Gels. I mean, they're all over there and you wouldn't think it was £300 worth there. But I've invested in them and I love them. That's, I've got them on my nails. Um... I went for some of the, is it the X, extended tips or something like that, express tips, I can't remember what they are, just the copy ones of Aliexpress, I went for those coming, I ordered them a week ago, and I ordered six different sizes, there was like X, 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 L stilettos and coffin and the smaller coffin and the almond shaped, and I thought, oh I fancy doing those where you get the... The builder base now i know a few people have recommended the emily builder base to stick them on i know they're not supposed to be like the proper gel tips they're like a dupe but i wasn't bothered like they're only for me so i went for those coming and i bought those and i thought oh i had i had these full cover tips and these aren't the xl ones these are just some i had in my drawer and i thought do you know what i'm going to give them a go and try it with just these and i did i done them last friday I put the Premier Gel Polish on and they haven't moved. And that that's like they've been on a week and they've not they're not lifting, they're not feeling loose or anything. So hopefully the gel extreme ones that have come from AliExpress are gonna be just as good, if not better. So I'll do a video and I'll try those out when they come. I've ordered some um, pots of gel paints oh what was the name of them it begins with a V so if you're a nail tech um, and you're a big YouTuber you'll know the ones I'm talking about I went for those coming so there'll be a video on those I need to do I can't do swatch videos on my primary gel because I've already swatched them I couldn't wait but I will show you the swatches and the consistency and show you like how nice they are Um. What else have I ordered? Like I said, I've changed some of my drawers. I did change my table around a bit the other week, so I think you'll have already seen that. I bought some acrylic organisers for my brushes to stand up in. I ordered two. And I had Royal Mail tracking. They were supposed to get posted on a Friday. Didn't change. And then the Monday, there was a different Royal Mail tracking again. And I thought, something fishy's going on here. And they were on eBay. So I went on eBay and the seller had removed them. So I contacted eBay for help and I, I just thought it was a bit a bit fishy. Um, I got my money back and then Friday they turned up. And one of them turned up broke anyway. So, but because I thought there was something was a bit dodgy with the seller, I went and bought one of AliExpress. So the one that's broke, I've got brushes in now at the minute, my art brushes. I'll use that for my makeup. So when the one from AliExpress comes providing it in good nick, I'll swap it over there. So I'll show you where I've got those. 
I can't put my lights on because I need some batteries. Um, I did say these lights on here are rubbish. Don't buy them. The batteries go through like that. And then it's definitely inside a bit rusty. So I think I might get some strip lights for those. Um, I've basically just been having like a little potter around and a little tidy up. I've literally just cleaned everything because, like I said, I was waiting for a client to come. I'd cleared on my desk. I had it set up for a client, and obviously she's not come. So I've just put everything back on my table again. So, anyway, I've blabbered on for 10 minutes or so. And, yeah, um, yeah, I'm growing my fringe back out again, as you can probably tell. My hair's grown nicely. I thought it would need a trim. It's been months, but it's still in good nick, so... Yeah, um, there's nothing else I can think of at the minute. I showed you my files. Oh, yeah, I've got another Glitter Fairy order. Um, that came. The Monday was the last day you could order, and that was the day I put another order in. So I've got those to show you. I've got loads of things to show you, but I just haven't got time. I need to hoover my flower, because I was just about to do that before I got the call to say she wasn't coming. But, yeah, I can't think of anything else. I'm looking out to see if I've had any new bits and bobs. But no, but yeah, I've got Alex. Yeah, but no, but yeah, I've got AliExpress haul coming, so I will show you those. So I'm gonna show you like what I've done in me me drawers in my room and let you see how I'm organising things. God, me me used to be quite warm today, a bit itchy. So yeah, so I'm gonna go and show you that, guys. So here we are. Right, guys, you're on now. My room, you'll have seen it umpteen times before. But basically, this is me that set up when I'm doing my YouTube and things. I got this to review on Amazon, like off Amazon Vine. So it's it's a magnifier and it does light up. I haven't got it switched on at the minute, so that just gets moved. Um, obviously, this is where I do my filming. I've got all like my liquids and things on here. So yeah, I may as well show you my nail desk while I'm here actually. So yeah, this is this is my setup. And you'll have seen these drawers a million times, but I'm just going over them again because someone did request how I've got my desk set up. So I haven't even been in these, so I don't even know what state they're gonna be in. Obviously, these racks are from Ikea. The majority of these are Miglitter Fairy ones. That was why I went out and bought the files. These are the, the tubs with the mixes I made myself. And various glitters. So I'm just going to do this quickly, basically, because I don't want the video to go on forever. This has just got a couple of empty pots. Nails, my labelling machine, my fan. And this is the labels for the machine. And two empty gem holders over here I have all like my top coats my glues alcohol um, inks that I've made brushes obviously tools cutters sanding tools for me E5 these are just other acrylic brands that I've got and I do have all my gems in these drawers. So I'm not going to really go into depth with those. I have my Sharpies, just some nail art and my remote there. This is mainly my stamping area. And how nice are these scissors? Like, look at those. I got those on the Amazon Vine. And and these as well and these ones and the old ones so those and um, yeah all my glitter bells is here my certificates i need to put my barb size certificate up so i think i'll put it like over there or like behind the unicorn or something i need to go a frame all my swatch sticks are here this is all my files and glitters and decals and things are in those. These are the organisers that I got. And this one, I've had to 
this one here I've had to stick the hinge with some sellotape but I think those are about £7 odd on eBay and on AliExpress I think they were only four or five pounds these are my drawers and it's just got like miscellaneous things in these it's like the palette for me paint paint in there practice tips rubbish <laughs> my masks and gloves um bags nail care cards they're just spares and other nail bits and bobs those are just different coloured tips and some acrylic powders that I mixed ages ago. There's all my new buffers. This one did have the oh the IKEA cutlery trays in, so I've sorted that out. That's just my spare brushes. These are the files that I use on myself. Like my buffers, just bits and bobs. These containers you get from B and M and the range. This has got gems and things in. Those are just glow in the dark powders from Neo. My glasses. Do you know I was looking for them the other week? The other torch. Because I do have one there. I need to put batteries in the other one. This one I have. This is like my flower to hold, like with the crystal sleeve. There's a sleeve there. This, like I said, it's just all bits and bobs. My little nail lamp. Um, those are the big extreme tips. Some poly gel. My decals. I bought this from the range last week. I think it was one ninety nine. Put my bigger ones in. I just wanted something that would fit in my drawers. These have got me. Oh, um, yeah. These have got decals in. I've got a little one. That one's to put my smaller plate in out of that one, which I haven't done yet. Oops. This has got just the tips for me for a silicone hand. These are the ones I've, I mainly use. These are for me hand dolly, just some wipes. And this one is... This is where I had out ready. It's all clean from the, my client coming off. I've got my files in there. New files in there. Bits and bobs there. And I've just put my A file there because I was on my practice tips. I was sick to death. I unzipped it now every time I needed it. So that's my nail area. So that's my hand dolly. And that's the hand dresser I was sent. So I'm wanting some new nail lamps. But I want like a good wattage. So... I think these are on the way out. So, yeah, that's something I'm going to be considering buying next. I see this is the chair I got last Christmas. It's super comfy. I think it was about £300. So that was my brilliant investment of Chrissy for Christmas. And my birthday. Here's my lights. This is, obviously, all my glitters are over here. I've put my Morph palettes there. That cupboard needs a good sort out. But that'll probably get done when I've rearranged upstairs because I'm going to be putting like the shoes and things upstairs. That's all my other glitters. Now, I know you can't use craft glitters on clients, so they're mainly for my personal use on my nails. This is me Glamour hand. I swap between this and the hand dolly at the minute. Um. And I've just put my box there. That's empty. My old hand dress, my old light. But this area, if our page wants to use it for her nails, or basically my clutter goes on it. But I, I can use it when, well, I used to use it when I was soaking my nails off. But it doesn't seem to be getting used. This is all my tools, getting sterilised. Um, my telly if I want YouTube or any music on. I put this back here. This is my cup that I got with my hand dolly kit. That's the one that Chrissy got me made for my birthday, my candle. And I've put my hand sanitizer in there. That goes on my nail desk when obviously would have been today. Um and these ones it's just got clutter in. My heat is there because I've just twist, twisted it round for now. 
because it, it gets cold in this room. Straighteners. <clears throat> um, mainly my Revolution palettes there, like my me, me good ones I like. And see my ring light. This is where I've just put in all my nail art. That's the newer one. I might put some lights around it. And obviously where I do my makeup. And there's all my Premier gels. Look at those. So I'm going to show you this draw first. This has just got like all my other gels in. I bought these gels. I'll do a video on the well gels if you want to see those. Those are £15 a bottle. And I got, I think it was 14 of them for £40. This has got all my different nail tips and obviously my practice ones in. And my nail tips. I do have loads of nail tips. This has got all the palettes. These are the palettes that I'm still selling. And this is mainly like eye glitters and coloured pencils and things. And this one. These are mainly like my chocolate palettes from Revolution and other palettes. I do have a lot of Revolution palettes. If you want to see like my palette collection in more detail, I can do a video on that. This is all brand new products like my doubles. So if I like something, I'll go out and, and it's on offer, I'll buy more. So if I run out, it's here. And these ones are just um like bronze and powders. Uh, like mixers, you know, to give like a glow on your foundation. These are spare foundations. And this is just like my crap draw. They, they need a rub over again. You know, I've just cleaned everything and I forgot to do my draw, so I'll do that. Look at that. So I'll do that when I finish filming. These are mainly army powders, and bronzers, and blushes. This one's all, these are all highlighters. So yeah, I do like my highlighters. These were the trays I had in the other drawer, but I'll put them in my kitchen now. This has just got like eyeliners, mascaras, I'll see me wipes, contour, concealer, eyelash bits and bobs, eyelashes. Those, those are clean, believe it not, well, they were clean. When you're doing a contour with a dark concealer, it, it just marks them straight away. These are all Revolution palettes and these are all like eye masks. That was sent to review from Amazon. And these are all like my bigger palettes. And this is the one that, if I can open it actually. No, I can't. And my lip kits. So, yeah, that's like my room. I'm going to give that a clean now. I should have done that before I start the video, but I forgot all about it. Um, so, yeah, obviously that's. How my room is and how I set it up and that's my footstool so ignore that kind of just boxes I keep from selling anything that's the footstool that goes with my chair and I use that when I want to do my feet and just another ring light but yeah that's my room like I said I did sort my drawers out a little bit so they are a little bit different I'm loving having my gel polishes over here and I'm loving having these on display but like, you wouldn't think there's over £300 worth. In fact, there's more really because when I paid £75, I was getting them for just under £4 a bottle and another £7.50 a bottle to retail normally. So I'm going to keep my eyes out on the sales and I'm going to get some more. So, yeah. This is obviously what my room looks like and how my things are and the table. Hi guys, so that's my room. That's where everything is in my room. If you want to know how I store things, where I store them. If you want like a more in-depth video of what's actually in the drawers, I can do that for you. But at the minute, that's all I can think of. So I'll get this video uploaded. I don't know when the next one's going to be. 
because like I said I haven't even got time to like play with nails or anything and I've got wallpapering to do I've got painting to do I've got skating boards to do and we've got a carpet to lay so it's probably a good job like I haven't put acrylic on my nails in any of these because if they pop off then I'm not really bothered at doing them again right guys so that's the end of my video I hope you like it if there's any questions don't forget to leave them down below um, I will be doing another 500 subscriber giveaway video. I've had to remove the last one because obviously um, what was going to be going in it isn't going in it because I'm no longer an ambassador for a company, well, the company I was using. So I thought, right, I'm just going to wipe the video and I'm just going to brand new, do a brand new video. It'll probably, I've got an e-file there, which will probably be one of the prizes. It's only like a £25 e-file, but it's perfect for personal use. That's still in the box, not being opened. That's brand new. I've got that for a giveaway. And I'll probably do some glitters or a glitter collection and some nail art brushes. Um, and maybe a few AliExpress and eBay bits chucked in as well. So, yeah, I'll, I'll start out another video for a giveaway. I'm not even on 400 subscribers yet, so I'm in no rush to do it. But, yeah, so if you're looking for that video, it's no longer up. But I will be doing a new one. So, um. If you did comment on the old one, it's still there, it's just on private. So I will get the comments up off that video and I'll write them down. So if you did enter the 500 subscriber original video, you'll still be entered because I'll just write your names down in case you missed the new one. Right, that's all I can say for now because I'm blabbering on and yeah, I want to love you and leave you. So thanks for watching guys until the next time. Bye.